Right on. All right. It's the Mordegal Music Entertainment Show, and we got a really great guest in the house tonight. I'm talking about Lyric Medeiros. Lyric Medeiros, that is, uh, man, she is going to Hollywood. I'm talking American Idol. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. How you doing, Lyric? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. It's our pleasure and our honor and privilege to have you on our show. Uh, we'd like to uh, go ahead and, uh, be a, uh, you know, want to get and congratulate you on uh, going to Hollywood. That, that must be a thrill, eh? Thank you. It is very definitely super exciting. I'm, I'm just feeling so grateful, I think, of, above all. <laughs> nice, nice. I mean that 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 gold that gold card going to uh, Hollywood. I mean, does it does it feel as heavy as as like a gold bar or something like that? <laughs> Definitely feels special. It's one of those moments where you're like, oh my goodness, is this really happening? Yeah. And when when the judges asked me to grab the golden ticket from the wall of golden tickets, that right. was when it hit me. I was like, holy smokes, this is happening. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, so tell me, you know, um, you know what's really unique about about you uh, as a contestant is the fact that your your dad is is an iconic uh, music figure here in Hawaii and and in the world, uh, Glenn Medeiros. Uh, how, how has that, as far as you know, uh, as far as uh, affected your journey in in the music world and and ultimately getting to American Idol? Absolutely, my dad has been a huge influential player in my music career. I think I got my love for music from my dad. I remember singing in his at-home recording studio when I was five years old and singing my favorite song from my favorite Disney Channel show. And wow. music has been a part of my life in every way. My dad really inspires me to not only follow my dreams in terms of acting and singing and music, but also to um, pursue education as well as him being an educator now. So um, yeah. I'm I'm currently in law school, so. That's oh awesome. wow! Well, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Okay. Well, I'm curious. What was that song at five years old? It was "Always Away." I think was the name of it. It was like "Always Away." I don't know if you guys have heard that one, but it's really, it's really old. It was when I was younger. Oh wow! Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Now, fast forward to uh, you know, as far as your American Idol, what what. What prompt you, what made you, you know, decide that you wanted to, to go into this competition and everything like that? And, uh, yeah, what, what, was, what was that, what was that uh, um, decision about? Absolutely. I think singing brings a lot of joy to a lot of people, and American Idol really um, does a good job in sharing the voices of the people all across the nation. And I wanted to be a part of that joy that people bring, and so I wanted to go on American Idol for that reason. Um, also, I am just so grateful for the opportunity that I got to because the reason that I got started on American Idol was a producer found me through my TikTok. Um, it's really crazy to think I started my TikTok when I was at Notre Dame. I had um, I went from about 200 followers to now 208,000 followers, and so it's really oh, just nice. surreal in the last year. And I'm just so grateful. I share videos about my dad singing when he was younger in the 80s, as well as doing dances with my mom and my brother Cord coming in every now and then because he's a little camera shy. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what's so cool is the is the names that your parents gave you. You know the, that are that are synonymous with music, a chord and lyric. I mean that's that's awesome. That's totally Thank awesome. You. Thank yeah, you. definitely. Alex, you got a, you got a question for for lyric? Um, yeah. Um, so, American Idol, facing off like uh, Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, and that audition is like, um, oh my gosh! Like, did you want to like like slap Kerry, Katy Perry when she did? <laughs> <laughs> I think I was more in awe. I think when I was in the audition room, you know, you're, it's kind of like surreal the whole time you're there. It's kind of like you're in this, it's like you're in this other world. Um, and so when I got in the audition room, I was like, oh my gosh, what is happening? But I had one thing in mind and that was to do my best in that moment. And so all I was thinking about was, Lyric, you got this, you can do this, you can do this. And then after I left the audition room, I'm like, oh, did that just happen? Like I have to process it, especially wow. with seeing Katy Perry and having her come up to me and having Luke Bryan come up to me and I got to shake their hands at the end and it was just I can't even describe it it was like oh my goodness this is happening but also after being like that just happened if you know what I mean 
Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so what made you choose the song that you chose for, 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 for your audition? Like, what, what, what is the reason? I mean, there's thousands of songs that you could have chose, and you, you decided to choose that song. Sure. I love Kelsey Ballerini. I love country music. And I think that Kelsey Ballerini's song, Love Me Like You Mean It, is very upbeat and it's very fun and it's very um, positive. And so I wanted to do that because I feel like that embodies me kind of well um, yeah. and my singing style. And so I went with Love Me Like You Mean It. But then, of course, I was asked to sing another song. And Carrie Underwood is like one of my biggest singing role models. And oh, so yeah. I immediately on the spot was like... <gasps> Carrie Underwood. I'll just do a Carrie Underwood song. I think <laughs> yeah. <it's> like it. <laughs> so, um, how did you feel when they said you flew 10 hours to get her to sing that song and then to sing another song? How did you feel at that point? Like, did you feel nervous? Did you like panic? Or... Well, I was nervous the whole time. I was like shaking. <laughs> I was like, lyrics, sing the right notes. My voice was shaking. It was just, it's so nerve wracking. The whole process is, is because you're going in front of these celebrity judges who you've watched as a little girl and things mm. like that finally get in front of them it's kind of like it's really like you're in another world you're you're really just it's surreal that's the best way I can describe it is it's kind yeah. of like you process it until it's over and so uh, I if I'm being honest I, I when I heard her say that I, I was I was I was just thinking about what I would do next or whatever I could do to you know show them that I can do this and what a better song than Carrie Underwood's before he cheats and that's right <laughs> to let yeah, your emotions out there. <laughs> and for so Katy Perry awesome. to get up on your face like that then to get that thing out of you like yeah that's the way you do it yes yes <laughs> <laughs> man so how 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 was it uh, as far as uh, you know being being with all those people those those thousands of people that are that are, that are auditioning and everything like that um, did you get a chance to to as far as uh, t talk to them and, and talk about their journeys Yes, absolutely. I met some wonderful people. I was in Nashville, so I auditioned in Nashville. What happens is you go through a series of auditions, of Zoom auditions, before you actually audition in front of the celebrity judges. Oh. And so I was flown to Nashville, and my mom came with me. I'm so grateful. My mom was there with me, and we were only there for about 24 hours. So as soon as I got in to Nashville, about 11, 12-hour travel time, um, immediately I was told to get ready, and then I was at the at the audition site and I was going from one place to another I was doing interviews and then before you know it three hours I was in front of the judges and I hadn't wow. eaten I um yeah I it was it was so fast and as soon as I finished my audition I went to some interviews afterwards I took some photos and then I was on a I was on a flight the next morning at 5 a.m. back to Hawaii so it was really fast it happened Hope. so fast yeah 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 and now going back to Hawaii, um, I'm sure there was a, a huge reception, and and uh, I know you've been doing a lot of interviews and everything like that. How does it feel to all of a sudden just have all this attention on you? I mean, it's wonderful. It's really I'm just so grateful to have such a supportive community here in Hawaii. Everyone has been so kind to me. I've sometimes um, going to law school after the episode air. I have my classmates are like. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. You're on American Idol. I was watching you on the news. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's really just a humbling experience and just a moment where I feel so grateful. I feel grateful for the American Idol team for allowing me to have this opportunity for the Hawaii community, for supporting me, and most of all for my family who's been with me every step of the way. And so making those dreams come true. Nice. Speaking nice. Of, well, I'll tell you what. Of, um, hold on. Oh, go ahead. Speaking oh. of uh, Glenn, um, what is the best advice that your father has given you? I mean, I'm sure he's given you hundreds of advice, but what is the best advice that he's given you in your musical journey? Sure. My dad has always wanted this to be my musical journey. He's always wanted it to be Lyric's musical journey. And so my dad has always told me to stay true to myself. No matter what people tell you, no matter, yeah. you know, the comments you get or things like that, it's always important to respect you know, where everyone's coming from and to understand and be open-minded and things, but to always be true to myself. And I think that's someone who's really positive and who wants to help others, which is why I'm in law school. I want to help people. And um, so I think that's the best advice my dad has given me is just stay true to yourself. Wow, that's awesome. Well, I tell you what, all of our listeners are, you know, we want to go ahead and share the experience that Lyric had on American Idol uh, on her audition. And we're about to play that right about now. Let's go. <laughs>
All right, it's the Motogawa Music Entertainment Show, and if you're just joining us right here, we are in a uh, interview with woo, Lyric Medeiros. Lyric Medeiros, one yes. of the people representing Hawaii going to Hollywood for American Idol. Hey, Al, you got a question? It's not a question, but uh, I follow you on TikTok, Lyric, and um, I don't know, I don't know if it's one of the comments that I made, but then back in 1986, I was there when your dad won brown bags to start them in mm. 1986, and I was like, Back in 86, I was like 15 years old. I didn't understand why the girls was like screaming and hollering for him. Because, <laughs> and, <laughs> and I don't know, because why, why is everybody screaming for this guy? This is, he only sang that song. Like, <laughs> and it's like, then like 30, 30 something years or 20 something years later, I understand why the, the girls were screaming at him. So, so yeah, he deserved that win. He really deserved that win. And I'm like now like years later his daughter is going to american idol and it comes full circle it's like we're so proud yeah, that's awesome. we're so proud to see you on american idol Whew. i'm just tearing and, up right and now. we're so honored to have the interview with you man we're just we're just so proud and yeah you know represent hawaii i know you guys are going to represent hawaii you're going to represent hawaii real well I want to give you got you the stage right now. I want to put the spotlight on you right now and give you an opportunity to shout out to anyone you want to shout out to. Friends, family, co-workers, Calabash cousins, people that you met at the grocery store and the gas station. Let's go. It's your stage, Lyric. Absolutely. I want to say thank you first and foremost to you guys for having me on your show today. It's so special. I've heard such great things about your show, and so I'm so grateful to be here. I want to say thank you to the Hawaii community for supporting me throughout this process, to the American Idol team for giving me this opportunity, my family for supporting me through every step of the way. It's really been such a unique experience. And if you want to see the audition, it's on Hulu right now, or you can see my audition on YouTube. You can also find me on TikTok to follow my family's journey, the Madeiras family at Lyric Madeiras. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, thank you once again for being part of our show, and uh, we wish you all the best in the competition of uh, American Idol. We'll be following you. Thank you so much. Thank right, you, Lyric. Uh, 